everybody. I know I'm doing this on my iPhone, but for some reason, um, Windows Movie Maker on my computer is not working. It's not letting me upload the edited videos to YouTube, so I had to do this video very quickly. My March wrap-up in April TBR, and I hope that this is okay for you guys right now. I have a tech guy in 20 minutes coming to look at it, so hopefully he can fix it. So let's get started with the books I read this month. I have, sorry about that. The first book I finished is this one. It is Allegiant, the last book in the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. I liked it. I liked it. It was complicated for me. Um, just with all, you know, the gen genetically damaged and all the Allegiant people at the compound. It was good. I liked it. It was just complicated and I hated the ending. <laughs> I hated the ending. It took me about like two weeks to finish just because, you know, it is a little bit of a bigger book than, um, I think Insurgent and Allegiant are the same size. It's about like 500, 600 pages. So I liked it. I hated the ending. <laughs> hated it. And because after I read that depressing book, I felt like I needed something uplifting and happy and I finally took Tangled by Emma Chase off my shelf and this book is hilarious. I know I said that um, Wallbanger by Alice Klein had to be my favorite um, erotic contemporary book but this book is just so funny and I won a signed paperback copy of Twisted, the last book, the second book in this trilogy and I should be getting it next month, next week, sometime, hopefully soon, so I can finish it. This is told by Drew Evans, the main character's point of view, which was so refreshing. The next book is told from Kate's point of view, so loved it. And I am currently reading an Almost Done in the After by Trimicia Luleta. I am about, I don't know if you can see that, 10 chapters left. And I love this book. I love it. It it does look daunting. It is pretty big. It's about, how many pages is this? 500-ish pages, but it is so easy to read, and it is creepy. The aliens in this one is not a bedtime story, so if you get this book, don't read it at night. <laughs> uh, it's finally getting into how the alien invasion is happening right now, so it's really... Um, interesting. It's not just creepy. So, and I found out by Demetrius, Demetrius, why can't I ever say her name? Demetrius Twitter account that in June 24th, in the end, the second book to this series is coming out and I can't wait to have it. Hopefully I can win like an e-copy of it or something because I can't wait till June. Too far. And so I read three Oh, uh, say three and a half books, two and a half books this month, so really good. I knew I wouldn't read that many just because I'm moving and I'm packing and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's my March wrap up. And now let's go into the April TBR. I have four books that I'm hopefully going to read. So I know my TBRs are usually like six books, but... I really have to focus on work and deadlines right now, just not, you know, cocooning myself in my apartment and reading. And I have two creepy books. Lately, the weather here has been like gray, foggy, cold, and rainy, which I love that weather, don't get me wrong. I just want to cocoon myself in my apartment and just read creepy books. I had to force myself to put two contemporary books in this haul just because I'm thinking, Sarah, you need to read something different other than creepy dystopian books. So I had to force myself to put two in. So the two books I want to read are, let me see if I can do this without making this stuff fall. Sorry, that's my timer, whatever it is. Um, the first one is Article 5 by Kristen Simmons, Kristen Simmons. I have Breaking Point and three, the last two books in this series. I'm not going to marathon read them like I did the Divergent, just because I don't have time, but I do want to read this one. And my friend said it's like a, it's like a Divergent, but without the factions kind of thing. And it's a really quick book. It's like four, 300 pages or something like that. 
Yeah, like 360 pages, so I'll finish this one in no time. And the last, I would say breaking point, the second one is a little bit bigger than this, so I'll finish this one pretty quickly. And the next one, I think my really good friend Bridget from Bree's Book Reviews, I'll put her link down below because I know I mentioned her a lot. Um, I think we're going to do a read-along of The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Let me know, Bridget, if we're still doing that, because I would like to do a read-along with you, and I really, really want to read this book. I know it's big, but I don't think it's bigger than this one. I don't know if you tell me which one's bigger. I think this one's bigger, but whatever. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, this book, so Bridget, let me know if we're still doing the read-along for this. I would love to know that. And the next two are contemporary books. As I said, I had to force myself to put two contemporary books in this haul. And this one is Afterburn and Aftershock by Sylvia Day. She's the author of the Crossfire series, which I loved. And I can't wait for Captivated, for Captivated by You to come out so I can read it. I already read Afterburn, and I need to read Aftershock. It's two books. Let me see it. It's two books in one, so I just need to finish Aftershock. So... I guess it's like one and a half books. So, yeah, it's only half a book since I read. I don't know. May, I might read the whole thing. I don't know. And the next one is Sweet Things by Renee Carlino, just because I thought I needed something sweet, not really erotic or dystopian in this haul. So, we'll see. I haven't picked up the second book to this, Sweet Little Things, just because I don't know if I'll like it or not. So, yeah. So, that's four books. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much. I know the dystopian books will be read first. <laughs> that, that's a given. And, yeah. And if for some reason um, the erotic contemporary books don't work out, I have this one as a backup. If I don't feel like I really want to read a contemporary book, I have Slated by Terry Terry. So, we'll see. Technically, that's five books. But this is a backup if those two don't work out. So, we'll see. We'll see. It depends on my mood and how the weather is. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I hope this iPhone video works. I think the lighting is okay. I'm hopefully going to get my computer fixed soon. It's not really the computer. It's just stupid my Windows Movie Maker. I just won't upload it, but we'll see. So, I hope you liked it. Bye.